Why wouldn't we? I mean, it's another day, and I'm starving like a pig. Welcome to the pig's kitchen, everyone. Mm, mm, give it to me. Give me that beat there, pig. Yep. 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 This is my co-host, Sweet Flabby Beaches. Sing, stop, sleep, stop, sleep, stop, sleep, stop, 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 beaches. Peach, 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 Okay, that got a little uncomfortable. He didn't be just like, ah, oh, dude, I'll turn it down just a little bit. <laughs> just a tad. Just a tad bad. This is sweet, sloppy peaches. I'm the flavor pig. And of course, as you know, it's Pig's Kitchen. We have an audience of one who's waiting for anything that falls on the floor, which is not going to be a lot. Um, because I just made my favorite. I know I said that about a lot of stuff, but I did. I made chicken palm tonight. Chicken palm. That's right. Thin cutlets of chicken uh, with a little bit of egg wash. If you don't know what egg wash is, grow up, you moron. Learn something in your life. Egg wash, dip the chicken in there, Italian seasoning, olive oil on that pan. Freshly sorted. Um, golden brown. Sauce, Parmesan, and mozzarella. A mozzarella. I like classic, girl. I don't know. Didn't have time to make my own sauce tonight. But oh, we got sweet chicken Parmesan. Just made myself a nice chunky marinara pasta. I'm going to throw this in the oven. I got some biscuits over here made from scratch. Okay. And, uh, all right, so the oven's at 375 right now. I'm throwing this in. Sweet page. Maybe put this on for about, mm, let's see, timer. Let's do 15 minutes. Sorry, this thin, so maybe I'll do 14. Start. Oh, Peaches was just whispering sweet nothings into my ear. She was like, You're fat and tender, juicy like a chicken tender. And I like that type of talk. Little type of talk. We got Parmesan cheese, classico. Like I said, pasta. I'm gonna throw these biscuits in as soon as the chicken's almost done, and we're gonna be rock and roll. So how's everyone's day going, man? Is everyone still waiting on the government to cut a check? You know they're still not gonna give a stimulus and a retro retroactive FPUC. They're, they're still not. The holidays are coming up. Thanksgiving came up. People are homeless. People are losing their houses. Can you believe that? No hazard pay for the people who have been essential workers who have been working this whole time. No retroactive since July? People have been living without extended benefits since the end of July? Why do you feel about that, Peaches? Yeah, that's what, if Peaches had fingers, that's what he'd be saying to our government right now. But Thanksgiving? You couldn't, you couldn't help out with a little food money, a little grant, send them a little like unemployment chunk to change and just work it out later. It's all about agenda still. You just got reelected, and you're sitting pretty, making millions of dollars, and you can't even give the American people who are suffering a little chunk of change to enjoy their holidays if they don't give a stimulus check. And some kind of retroactive FPUC, PUA, or some kind of railroad benefits. They don't give any of that before Christmas. We have to revolt. They, they, they have to leave their jobs. Because they don't give a crap about us. They don't care about us. And they're putting our money everywhere else but for us. And we're suffering. It's time to revolt. I'm going to cook this up when it comes back. We're going to have a beautiful chicken parmesan. We'll finish off the plate. We'll make it look beautiful. Sorry for the political bullshit, but I'm sitting over here waiting for food money, man. 
and nobody's coming to the rescue. And that's just sad. If the government doesn't have your back, who does? Maybe we shouldn't have the government's back. Maybe we should shut down the government, which could happen by December 11th if we don't sign that CR bill. If we don't sign it and they don't agree to it, then the government shuts down and they stop getting the checks. We'll see how fast they move their asses then. We'll be back. Well, that sound you hear right there can only mean one thing. We're taking the chicken palm out of the oven. Let me move a couple things here. We gotta make some room. Oh yeah, that's done. Oh yeah, that's nice. Look at that. Look at that. Okay. That's perfection. Gonna get the pasta, the chicken palm. I'm gonna put the biscuits in right now. Might as well put the biscuits in. That was my nickname in college. It's biscuits. Hold on a second. Okay. How come nothing ever works when you want it to? Okay. Biscuits in. Should be done soon. This is pages. This is chicken palm. That's beautiful. Delicious marinara pasta. I'm gonna put some parmesan on it, and we're gonna be partying like we're in Venice. Ah, uh, all right, guys. Sorry for the political rant earlier. Hope you guys are all doing well. Hope you're eating well. Hope you're uh, drinking, enjoying your December. December's one of those months for me where. I usually just write, perform, chill, and reflect on the year. Not much to reflect on this year because nothing really happened except me choking peaches out. Yeah? Look, 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 look how she thinks she can look at me. Yeah. You think you can talk to me that way? You better let yourself fly me. Or you could end up in this plate one day. Those are your cousins. <laughs> we are Pig's Kitchen. Chicken Palm, one of my favorites. Pig's Kitchen. You want the rest of you hit me up. We're out.